What's up everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're getting shredded in the Knowledge Gym, talking about a true bodybuilding legend, Mike Mincer. You might recognize the name, or maybe you've heard of his famous heavy-duty training program that shook the bodybuilding world in the 80s. But what made Mincer such a controversial yet influential figure? Let's dive deep and unpack his legacy. Back in the golden age of bodybuilding, the 1980s, the mainstream approach was all about volume. Bodybuilders spent hours in the gym, cranking out countless sets and exercises. It was a brutal slog. Then came Mike Mensa, a beacon of ripped muscle with a different philosophy. Mensa believed the key wasn't just lifting weights, but stimulating your muscles in a way that triggered maximum growth. He argued for shorter, more intense workouts with minimal exercises. This heavy-duty approach emphasized pushing yourself to absolute failure during those limited sets. It was a radical idea. Bodybuilders used to marathon gym sessions were introduced to the concept of training less, but harder, and potentially gaining more. But there was more to Mensa's philosophy than just intensity. He championed proper form and advocated for what he called progressive overload, gradually increasing the weight or difficulty over time to keep challenging your muscles. Mensa also stressed the importance of mind-muscle connection, really focusing on the targeted muscle during each rep. This combination of high intensity, low volume, and mental focus became the cornerstone of his heavy-duty program. Now, Mensa's methods weren't for everyone. Some found them too demanding, and others questioned the science behind them. But the core principles of his approach high-intensity training with ample rest resonate with many bodybuilders today. After all, who wouldn't want to get ripped in less time? Mensa's influence goes beyond specific exercises and sets. He was a strong advocate for critical thinking and questioning established dogma. He encouraged bodybuilders to take control of their own training journeys and experiment to find what worked best for their individual physiques. So, why do bodybuilders still love Mike Mensa? Because he dared to be different. He challenged the status quo and offered a results-driven approach. Love it or hate it, his impact on bodybuilding is undeniable. Did you know Mensa was also a big proponent of a specific diet to complement his training? If you want to learn more about his dietary philosophy and how to build muscle like Mike, smash that like button and subscribe for next week's video. Let me know in the comments below what training style you prefer, high volume or high intensity.